Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Tornado Personal Cloud Server on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we deep dive into the installation part of Tornado on Ubuntu 16.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is Tornado. Tornado is a remote access and home server software for network attached storage. Once installed on a computer, Tornado software makes the computer's files available remotely via the internet through the web browser or through native mobile apps. This allows access to files stored on the computer including music and videos to any computing device connected to the internet in possession of login credentials. Data is by default transmitted via Tornado servers with no port forwarding required but can be transmitted without using Tornado server by setting up port forwarding. Data transfer speed cannot exceed that of the slowest link in the data path including USB 2.0 for USB connected storage. Tornado stores all user information including login credentials locally enabling login into Tornado software without the requirement of an internet connection. Tornado allows different computing devices to synchronize files via Tornado server without using the public computing cloud. Synchronization uses Tornado servers. The company provide 2 GB of synchronized storage free of charge and 100 GB for pro users. Tornado runs on 32-bit ARM, PowerPC and MIPS architectures and is available as binary package for popular Linux distributions such as Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE and also for Mac and Windows. Tornado sell a small low-cost computer that runs Tornado software. The Tornado plug is based on Shiva plug running Ubuntu Linux. And if we talk of some other details, the original developer of Tornado personal cloud server is Code Lathe LLC. The initial release was done on March 2009 and the latest stable release is version 3.62.0.21836 which was released on December 31, 2012 about three years back which means from the last three years no version is being there but still the development status is active. As a backend, it is written into backend that is C++, GUI is based on Google Web Toolkit and PHP and it is available for cross-platform and it is for personal cloud and hope server and it is available free of cost so you can see that the official website is tornado.com you can see that it private file access sync and sharing for home and business so for home and personal cloud and you can find everything on this website so let us go to Ubuntu 16.04 and let us uh, start with the installation part of tornado cloud server you can find all the information for installing over here and uh, you can see that I have already been into the server so let us first of all log with root and let us first of all give this command that is apt hyphen get update so again it requires lamp server so I will not be wasting my time to give this command because I've already installed lamp server uh, because in my other videos I have already told you how to install lamp server and what are its basic front end and what are the library based functions so you can use that videos and you can do that so I will installing uh, I will be skipping step 2 and will coming to step 3 that is installing dependencies so I will be using this command so let us copy this and let us paste it so you can see that the, it has a library which has manually been installed so let us make the directory over here with the tornado so let us copy and paste and now what we have to do is to w get this command so that we can download the tornado so you can see that it is connected and it is about 38 MB of size now depending on your net connection how much it is fast it will be taking less time but tornado servers internationally are somewhat slow so make it sure that it will take some time so let us be here but I am getting good speed so let's wait for 38 MB to download and after that we will rename the package so that uh, we have no problem in finding that so it is almost there okay so the download has been there but the download name is like this so we will just uh, rename this with this command so now you can see that the word tornado 64.tar.gz is there so let us now extract the package into user slash local slash tornado which has been created in the above command so let us paste this so it will paste it so now let us go to this uh, directory that is slash user slash local slash tornado and now what we have to do is to issue this command that is tornado.shell which is a script to start so it is starting the tornado so 
so you can see that the service has been started and now what we have to do is to type the IP address of this machine let us take that IP address which is if config that is 206 so let us go with the IP address so le let us type the IP address that is 192.168.117.206 colon 10001 so 10001 is the IP uh, is the port number and 206 is the IP address of the machine so language is this so let us uh, type the account so let us take this that is uh, my Anand cloud so let me type the password and let me take any email ID okay so you can see that it is accessible by this so let us create it okay so password should be strong so let me give the strong password okay so now you can see that it is creating the account and very soon I will be getting the welcome screen so it's a very good personal and home server and uh, you can use this for and you can see that it can be even installed on Raspberry Pi in my one of the video I've already demonstrated how to install Tornado on Raspberry Pi so it is available for each and every architecture and each and every computer or operating system so it is logging in it will take some time so we have to wait you can see that the service is being started so no need to match up with this so let us uh, sorry so you can see that the tornado personal server is there so let us click on next allow remotely for all folders next and enable indexing and now click on close now you can see that it is being accessed so this is publicly you can access it which means your computer should be on and you can access all your files publicly on this web page uh, for this machine so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Tornado personal cloud server and uh, so do give this a shot do like this video and uh, do implement into your homes thank you so much for watching